I'm Lee Walker and today we're gonna do more cooking and I'm we're, we're just a little down today because I just I really don't want to be cold or not comfortable right now guess what this morning I got the first dose of or the first part of my COVID vaccine so I work for a doctor's office and we do COVID testing so yeah I'm happy because I don't have to, every day I've gone to work for I don't know how long now and been like, well, today could be the day I get COVID and I don't have money for however long it takes me to recover, let alone all the long-term health effects. And I've been lucky to have not gotten it so far despite very little being done at my job to make it less likely. So yeah, I'm, I'm really glad that I get to get it. So anyway, <laughs> something, on Pinterest caught my eye and that was a thing that said vegan tuna salad. I'm not a vegan. I'm a vegetarian. I don't like seafood. Some people are vegetarian, pescatarian. That's not me. So I just, I don't, I want to know what it means. What does it all mean? <laughs> what does vegetarian tuna salad mean? It sounds like it doesn't make sense. But then I looked at some of the ingredients, which I will reveal to you in a moment, and I, I guess I kind of get how it could be a thing because it does involve pickles and soy sauce. And I guess that's supposed to be, is it supposed to be fishy? I just, I don't know. I really don't know. So I just want to try it to see how cursed it is. Um, have Rob's back, so hopefully my sound won't be absolutely shite. But first obstacle of my day, well actually second obstacle because I had to search for an hour and a half for, I have like five different SD cards and apparently two of them are working, but I could only find one working one. And I searched for the past hour and a half to find a second working one. Why do SD cards just die? Like, I don't even know. They just stop working after an intermittent amount of time. I have a jar of pickles that I require to use, but I can't open it. So I might just go ask a neighbor to open it for me, but that sounds like not fun for my social anxiety. But you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Hopefully I don't get serial killered and hopefully I get my jar opened. I really can't get it open. So I feel like this is the only way, but I really don't want to do it. I can't, I cannot do. No puedo. I really don't think I can do it. Okay. I don't want to do this. I don't want to talk to people that I don't know. I don't want to do this. But I don't want to put this video off any longer. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna get my shoes. I'm gonna go find a random person to open this. Oh, I still have my mask on. <laughs> I, okay, this is a magical story. So I knocked on like four different doors and no one was answering. So I was just walking around the parking lot and I just tried it. And I think because it's so cold outside, it like loosened it and it opened. So I don't have to talk to a person and I have pickles. So now I can actually get started. All right, so what are we going to do? So we need a can of chickpeas. Can you see, maybe? One to two dill pickles chopped small celery chopped small they have vegan mayo but i don't care about being vegan and just vegetarian so i have uh actual mayo well it's olive oil may mayonnaise i kind of want to try vegan mayo because i wonder if it's like healthier for you but i have to look into actual science for it soy sauce which this just seems like an interesting combination just that's it apparently this is it and then you put it on bread with like tomatoes and sandwich stuff and i have to open a can which i don't know if i have talked about this on a camera before but I when I was in fourth grade I sliced my entire finger open and had to get stitches because I <laughs> opened a can the worst way I could so I'm a little scared of opening cans but I can do it I can do it I'm a strong oh my neighbors are very loud with their chairs today I am a strong independent woman I opened my own jar just by going outside because I'm amazing like that and I can do it I can open a can without killing myself Time to chop, chop, chop. I'm gonna rinse off my celeries to refresh them a little. How much celery do I want? A fourth cup. <gasps> guess what? Oh my gosh, guess what? Since my last video, Christmas happened and I got measuring cups. And they're cats, so you can't see them because of the light. They have tails and little whiskers and ears. I'll try and show you without the light there later. Here's that. Well, that's not that much. How much does this make? 
I don't know. It doesn't say. I guess maybe I'll double it to half a cup. I mean, I don't have anything else to do with these celery, so besides make more soup, <laughs> which I might do still. A light and chop chop. Maybe my sound troubles. I don't even know how to do anything. I took film classes. I paid money. Oh, how do you? I don't. Like, I do the front to back like you're supposed to, but I don't understand how you're supposed to do this. Are you supposed to pick it up and put it down in the But then it doesn't cut it all the way. Up to my school. Ooh, look at it. Are you ready? Oh, you can't see. It's like a caterpillar. These celery strings are not good. How is everybody doing? I haven't really been doing that great, to be honest. Which, I mean, you know, I think that's to be expected. Hopefully things are on the upswing. There's such a long way to go in the world. I'm gonna cut off my finger. Okay. Next step is the thing that I have been dreading. I have to open a can. Okay. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. Totally fine. How does this work? Um. <laughs> okay. Insert. In. Ooh. Insert. Oh. Okay. So far so good. No blood. Let me tell you. Was there blood over every surface? of my house when I was in fourth grade and I did this. Release you off. No. Okay, well I have to drain it, so I'll leave it in there for now. It says drain and rinse, but I don't have a strainer. <laughs> this is so stressful. Okay, now I gotta get this out. Ugh, oh, the metal. I don't like sounds of metal or touching metal. Maybe that's why I have that weird thing about touching metal, because it's hurting myself. Oh, okay, I did it. I didn't hurt myself. I did it. Okay, it's so like frothy. Do I need to rinse more? I have a colander, but I think the holes are too big. Did I try the colander? I feel like they are chickpea size. The holes in that are surely too big. Well, let's, let's try. They fit. It's fine. Okay, so now I have chickpeas in a colander that magically fit. Do I need to chop these chickpeas? I need to mash the chickpeas. Oh no! Okay, we're gonna do it. We're gonna mash. Who has a potato masher? I don't. Is that a normal thing to have? I have measuring cups now, so I have... <laughs> I have stepped my game up a little bit. Um, what are we gonna do? How am I gonna mash them? Like a fork or a spoon? No, that's... That's not doing anything, is it? This isn't doing anything. <laughs> They just slide away from it. I don't like all the casings of, that's what, I like chickpeas, but I don't like the chickpea casings. I'm trying to get off of as many casings as I can. I feel like this is gonna take too long for me to worry about doing, and I'm just gonna have to deal with it. You're gonna have to experience this with me. I'm gonna show you all these casings in my hand right now. I think I got most of them. Look at this, this is so gross. Why are they on there? That's like a label. Does this work? Oh, this will work. Okay. Mash, mash, mash. I don't know if it's the best mashing that's ever happened, but I think it's good enough. These are kind of gross, huh? They're just a little gross. It is very satisfying in a way though. I'm not a very angry person, but I do have like a low constant level of rage that's just always burning inside of me, whether it be from trauma or being a woman or being poor in a capitalist or post-capitalist society. Just I'm always, I have rage that just burns deep, but I'm not like angry as a person. But anyway, just mashing the shit out of these beans feels pretty good. So the ladle is only effective to a certain degree or I just need to separate them out more. Well, I definitely thought I was recording and I wasn't recording. All you do, so I had celery chopped really as finely as I could get it, pickles chopped as small as I could get them, and then mashed chickpea. And I just poured all three of those things in this bowl. And now it's telling me to do three or four tablespoons of mayo. So I'm keeping it at three for now to see if it's moist enough to save our arteries one more tablespoon. And now I'm gonna do another tablespoon of soy sauce. I'm not a fan of soy sauce. I like um, gyoza sauce with my sushi. Ooh, that smells gross. Let's cover that up. And then you just stir. Okay. Mm. <laughs> uh, well, this is something. This is a food. I was 
I'm really not expecting it, but it does need more of this. I don't know where the tuna comes from though, because it, it just tastes like a salad with kind of crunchy things in it. Okay, how's that? I honestly can't decide how I feel about it. I mean, it's not bad. I was honestly, I was expecting it to be really gross with the soy sauce. I don't know. I don't know how to feel. Maybe if I try it with bread. Okay, hold on. I don't usually like bread or buy it, but I did for this video buy some Hawaiian fancy bread. This is exciting for me. I guess it's, it's not that I don't like bread, it's just I t don't really go for it unless it's like nice fancy bread. Because otherwise it's just so dry and so many carbs, it doesn't feel worth it. Oh, do you want me to show it? It looks a little gross. I'm not gonna lie to you. It looks a little gross to look at, but I feel like all of these kind of salad-y things look a little bit like vomit. So I don't I don't think I should fault it for that because it is typical of this sort of thing. So yeah, I mean, just looking at it straight up, not the most appetizing, but not the worst. Let's get this sucker on some bread. I still really can't decide how I feel. It's not bad. I'm gonna put more pickles in it. It's weird, but it's good. I have tried something new that sounded interesting and strange to me, and it is in fact interesting and strange. I'm gonna see if I can get my sister to try this on camera, um, either tonight or tomorrow morning. So if that happens, I'll put that next transition. Kayla, hello. Hi, <laughs> nice to see you. So when I say the words, vegetarian and I say the words tuna salad together. Uh-huh. <laughs> what, what do you think about? Strange. Weird. <laughs> is it possible? <laughs> that is what we're here to determine today. Okay. It's not, yeah. I thought it was going to be bad. It's not bad. Okay. I just positive. I really can't decide how I feel about it. So I feel like I need another person's input. Okay. To be fair, yesterday it looked a lot more appetizing, but a new feature that Maybe I Maybe I just won't look. <laughs> just, you should have blindfolded me. That would have been fun. Yesterday when I showed it on camera, it looks a little bit more soggy today. Is what I will add to my <laughs> really. You should have done that before you got me involved. Okay. No. Um, without further ado. <laughs> It's just a little soggy. I see what you mean by, um, did I want bread? <laughs> do you want some bread? <laughs> no. <laughs> I can do it. <laughs> so you can just take a, a spoon to lick it. All right, here it goes. <laughs> Any, uh, okay. <laughs> Make sure I get a little bit of everything here. Okay. <laughs> the flavor is good. The texture is weird. Yeah. And that's what's getting me. Especially, it was a little bit more congealed yesterday. Yeah. I, I was gonna say, it's like a weird sort of liquidiness compared with what I'm assuming are the chickpeas that are like broken up and kind of chalky, like a texture in my mouth. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> that was the strangest thing. Otherwise, flavor's great. Yeah, like I really didn't think it would. Yeah, I think, yeah, probably like on a piece of bread or in a wrap or something. Mm -hmm. And a plus. I think the serving size was like half of this and I doubled it because I was like, oh, well, I'll have enough to uh, try. But, so I think it's more of a the same day thing and you don't really want to save it overnight. But yeah, save it overnight, but just be prepared to... Be prepared for the song. Yeah, just be prepared to eat it in something with yeah. something to yeah help with that texturiness. I thought the soy sauce and the pickles were supposed to combine to make it fishy, but it's not fishy. No, so. but that's okay. I think it would be grosser if it was fishy, yeah. to be honest. I think call it tuna salad because it's like the idea of it, but it's not. Yeah, it's weird. You could have just said like just, vegetarian yeah. chicken salad. and salad. Right, yeah. yeah. I don't know why they got to throw tuna I mean, in there. Like it's trying to imitate tuna. It got me tuna. to click on it on Pinterest True. to make a video about it. True. Nah, you got that clickbait. That's like most of Pinterest is clickbait. <laughs> yeah. Uh, got you to pay attention because yeah. you're like, whoa, how do you, how do you do that? What does this mean? <laughs> Anyway, thank you for trying it for me. I just need someone else to experience no, it. No problem. No. Happy, happy to experiment on cooking with you. <laughs> anyway, okay, I gotta get out of here. Cue my outro that I already filmed. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> but yeah. I'm Lou Walker. Thanks for watching this video. It was a fun little experiment. I, I don't know if I would 
buy stuff to make it again, I would consider making it again. So check out the rest of my channel. I do more cooking and baking and I do some vlogs. I have some creative stuff on there. So like this video, subscribe, check out my social media, and I'll see you soon. Bye! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother.